Hello everyone and welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we come here to the Felt Post Inn and uh, go upstairs I think. Um, I've been here and I've been selling all my stuff and um, yeah, I've, my inventory is now free of stuff except for the body of Samuel. It's still there. Uh, weighs a lot. Uh, but we need to go upstairs because there's nobody named by the name of Transic. Transic is right there. I wonder what he has to say. Transic's not afraid of rubble. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. I don't want any trouble. But I'm gonna prepare for trouble if, you, if you're gonna give me any. So, yeah, let's have a chat with you, Transic, and see what you have to say about this wall operation. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. Why do you bother I'll me? Give them trouble. Oh, yeah, okay. Why do you bother me? Can't you see that I'm in a hurry to get out of this damn town? Well, perhaps you could tell us why you are in such a hurry. I'm not gonna tell you guys anything. Get out of my face. Yeah, you won't be rid of us that easily. You, We know you're up to no good. Now tell us everything you know, guy, because you are with those, I think. Yeah, so basically this guy is uh, the one that gave orders to the guy down in the mines, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, you know what I'm, I'm up to, huh? Well, maybe something you don't know about is my magic skills. You might not believe me, but if you ain't out of my face in the next five seconds, I'll blast you to kingdom come. You? Will the magic? We can't suspend our disbelief that much. Come along now and surrender, or we'll have to hurt you. I warned you! Now you'll pay the price! Do I pay the price? Do I do? Do I do that? Do I do such things as those? Or are you Transit. now taking arrows to the face? I think you pay the price. Transic and I had it out at the Felt Post Inn, looking through Mullahay's letters. I still haven't done that, so let's do that. Uh, we have a letter over there and a few other things. I don't need the quarter staff. Let's see. So Transic, I am perplexed as to why Mullahay, not copied, yeah, as to why Mullahay uh, has not communicated with us in some while. You are to go to the mines and find out the condition of his operation. You are also to collect any iron that may have been stolen by the kobolds. Our next raid will most likely take place at Peltveild or Larswood. So visit either of those areas and track us back to our camp, Tazok. Okay, so I think we know exactly what we must do. Let's put that one over there. And glitter dust. What is this one? This spell creates a cloud of glittering golden particles within the area. All enemies in the area must roll a successful saving throw to be blinded for minus four penalties. So basically a blind attack. Is it an AoE? It is an AoE blind. Fantastic. I like that. I like the sound of that. Even though I'm probably not going to cast it. Oh, well, I'm not going to learn it either. Damn it, save's coming. Nah, nah, come on. Just seriously. There we go. Okay. Probably not going to learn that. I can't identify that. Can't identify that either. Even though I know exactly what this is. The Wonder of Magical Missiles. Or Magic Missiles. There we go. I'm going to use it. Because I like it. Uh, let's use it instead of the Wand of uh, Summoning. Yeah, because this one is mostly a preparation wand anyway. Um, and uh, you are going to need to identify that. That's a Ring of Princess plus one. Yeah, it just adds to the saving throws. I think that's going to go to Jahira. She has the Honorary Ring of Soon. Can memorize one extra divine spell of each level f for from first to fourth. Did I get this one for her or did she come with it? I think I got this one. I remember that. I remember getting that one. Yeah. Okay, so everything is How good. We're going to leave this. Oh, actually, do I want to take what's in there? There's nothing in there. Okay. Um, you saw nothing. Good, sir. We are all good. And we're going to Larswood. We're actually... We have a this few. This group shows promise. Thank you. Thank you. We have a few things to do before we continue our adventure, actually, because we have a few a few areas to the west that we haven't gone to, and I want to go there. I want to level up as much as possible. We're level five right now. I want to be at least level six, but probably level seven or level eight before I go to the Fire Iron Ruin or Fire Iron Bridge, because that place is very very bad uh, and very very dangerous as well. There's an area over here, if I remember correctly, that's also very bad. I think it's right there. Uh, bandit camp destination unreachable. Okay, that's the bandit camp itself. So we need to go over there so we can go over here. Okay, it's gonna be our objective. But first, we need to go... Let's see, let's uh, let's go there first. Cause I think we have explored everything here. Yes, indeed. So we go to there. Did I explore this? Let's give it a try. Uh, seems that way. Yeah, yeah, it seems that way. Okay, just reload. And uh, go that one. There we go. Okay, new air. Hmm. 
Okay, uh, we have a ghoul. Uh, everybody switch to melee weapons. No, don't do that. There. Everybody switch to melee weapons, and we're gonna separate our. We're gonna time? actually focus on here. I'm gonna send Jahira to fight that guy, and I'm gonna send Khalid to Can fight I that guy. And uh, these two are gonna. Oh, they guy. Those guys have ranged weapons. That's not good. I'm gonna send you around. Okay, that guy's dead. You're gonna come around here, so you can focus on that. You're gonna go over cool. there and focus on that guy. And you're gonna slide around. You're gonna come back here to try and get those, that guy's attention. That skeleton is near death, and he's actually on top of the death. Uh, Emoen is taking damage, but not a whole lot, so everything seems to be going good. And that guy is dead. Khalid is doing his thing with his plus three qu tips of of, uh, of weapon yeah. skill. Pretty good. Pretty good. And that's a kill. Fantastic. Okay, so everybody switch to your Nature preferred weaponry. Awaits. Like so. And let's see what we got. Dun, da, da, dun, dun. Okay, we got some monies. Nothing really much else. It's all good. It's all good. Nice little... In Wait a minute. Are we actually... Yeah, we are in an encounter. Okay. Nice encounter. I hadn't seen this one before. I must, but apparently I don't remember it. I don't remember it. So let's go there. And uh, it's the middle of the night, which is not good, because it doesn't allow us to see properly. So I must use my sleeping spell to see properly. Let's continue. Yeah, just for you guys' sake, and for my sake as well. Sanity is an important thing, I guess, in any person. And uh, since I don't want to go insane with all the darkness, I, I yeah, just sleep. Because we can afford it. We have skeletons up ahead. We also have Minsk and Khalid ready to kill those skeletons. Let's bring you guys over there. Murder, murder. There we go. No! Ouch. Yeah, there's a few of them. I was expecting that. Please don't AI. Thank you. No! Ouch. Okay, Khalid is now taking a little bit of damage. That's all fine. No! That's fine. Of assistance? As a kill. Okay. Go ahead and kill the other what ones. Is it this time? Just, just look around. I want to take care of the fog of war first. Okay, so we have a nice little river over here. This northeastern, northwest, north, northwestern area of the map. Punch. Check that. There you go. And that's a kill. Okay, perfect. Probably didn't have anything. No, didn't have anything. Okay, yeah, everything is good, all except for Khalid that took a few hits. But that's not really a problem. He doesn't mind that. Just cast a couple of uh, minor healing spells, and he should be fine. Man, I'm 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 looking forward to the next uh, dream that I have, so I can get. I think the third ability is a pretty good one. I don't remember which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it is. A pretty good one because I remember uh, although we might need to switch the, the chapter so right now we're in the in chapter 3 so we're gonna need to go to chapter 4 to get the next dream over or maybe more I don't actually know so maybe I'm full of it right now but yeah looking forward to the next dream also because the dreams are quite interesting and just shed a little bit of light into what is going on I'm, I'm trying not to spoil it for you I could explain what everything is but if you know the game already if you know the end of the game even if you don't know it well enough uh, you are going to be able to tell, I mean, I'm talking about Baldur's Gate 1, you don't need to know the end of the game of Baldur's Gate 2. So, by logic is, if you if you know the end of Baldur's Gate 1, you're going to be able to tell exactly what's going on with all the weird stuff and why people are trying to kill us. And that's the point of it, is you don't know. You're, you know, that's the, the big question, is why is everybody after me? Why is that guy killing... Why did he say that he will be the last and I will be the first when he... Well, no, it wasn't me, the, the in the... Opening cinematic was somebody else. I said what it was the Ryan, but it wasn't. Uh, we have a, a guy over there saying what you want to a Hobgoblin Elite. What exactly is going on with you, man? Okay, the Hobgoblin Elite is attacking me. It's a shame my line of work doesn't allow the, for leisurely chats, but it's an important job. Most run the message through rain or shine or glibberling. Gibberling, yeah. M grows weary of invasion accusations and, I, and is demanding restitution from the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. This will not sit well indeed. Make way! Okay, so he was not being attacked by those guys, he was just standing by them. I will tell that to the Dukes. I thought there was only one Duke, but apparently there's more. Okay, poison there. I failed to notice that. Take care of that. Take care, take care, there, there we go, perfect. Okay, now they're dead. There's a squirrel over there. And he's good huh, to go. You're a queer fellow. Shut up. Also, uh, I sold my gems, but I also remembered that I have a gem, some gems here that are going to be needed. If you're playing the game by yourself, save an angel skill ring. You're going to need that in Baldur's Gate. And I'm, I, I kept these ones because I think I'm going to need them as well, but I'm not really sure. 
Uh, I remember them because it's just I played the game a few times and I remember. But just those three, if you want to hang on to one of each or two of each, if you want to re be really careful, well, if you want to be really careful, you're going to look it up online and see what is going on. But just a tip, if you don't want to spoil the game for yourself by doing that, uh, it's not something that I do um, personally. It's just when I'm playing a game by myself, I don't check online for for um, at least not the first time around. I don't check online for, for tooltips and stuff. If I can't complete a mission, not tooltips, tooltips is not the word, tips, just tips. Uh, if I can't complete a mission, then I won't complete a mission. And that is that. And in games like these, you often don't complete missions, so let's murder this guy. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Keep going. Although there, there I've, I've read some pretty bad stuff about the enhanced edition, especially for Baldur's Gate 2. That it breaks a lot of quests. It fixes some, but it also breaks some. And uh, so I'm kind of hopeful that nothing terrible will happen. But if anything terrible does happen, okay. So you guys, okay, yes. everybody switch to melee because I don't want yes, a repeat oh. of what happened before. Your AI needs to be turned on. Let's go ahead and attack them. Uh, but yeah, if if something bad happens, if I break a quest, I can use the console. I don't remember how to use the console. Press enter. No, press. I don't. I, need to, I think I need to activate it, but I will use the console to uh, fix the game if it breaks on me. It's just, you know, it's not really cheating, it's just fixing the game. I, I will need to I will need to be on the lookout for that, but I, I mean, yep. sure. Uh, let's see, actually in the first game I, I played, I played, I played Baldur's Gate 1 way more than I play Baldur's Gate 2 these days. It's just that when you are okay, you just like you've played these games before, right? You, you you've grown up grown up playing these games, and uh, when you play, when you like the itch comes and you want to play some Baldur's Gate, you start with Baldur's Gate One because you know you want to carry your character character over. The thing is, you get Baldur's Gate One done, and uh, then it's Baldur's Gate Two on to Baldur's Gate Two, and everything is basically uh, different, and it's like it's a new world, as everything is different, uh, as it should be. Those guys, I'm not really sure what's going going on over here. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, they're not attacking, so maybe they have a necromancer around. Didn't we have, oh, I know what is going on. I remember what's going on. Yeah, but the thing is, I never complete, uh, or it's like 50% of the times I start playing Baldur's Gate 1, I complete Baldur's Gate 2, and the other 50, I kind of stop halfway through. So, I'm not too familiar with the enhanced edition for Baldur's Gate 2, because I think I've only completed it once. <laughs> yep. Oh, Brother Therm, why not grace our ears with a ripping tale of the old days? <laughs> Always a delight. Oh, don't hesitate on my account. Some of the others may, may not have heard them. Uh, hold your peace, then. Though I remember a time back at Zentil Keep when you would sooner die than be quiet. You would sooner, nah. Oh well, I'll wait. I'll wait. Wait. I'll wait till you feel like telling telling them yourself. I don't remember the old days so well. Oh, you there? What is the meaning of this? Who there is interrupt while I speak with my family? I'll have your heads if you're here to harm the. No, it can't be. Is that your father? I c it cannot be. Otherwise, you haven't changed a bit in all these years. What? You, uh, you have mistaken me for someone else, and I think you should come along quietly. No doubt Baragos will have people to properly deal with you. No, time has made you forget, just like all the others. But I can remind you, and we'll be a family again. Hold still. Uh, I'd rather not hold still, so let's retreat. Because uh, that's, that's what you should do, always, always. Okay, those guys are not attacking me for some reason. I'm not against that, but apparently the evil priest... Let's look at what we got. Um, why is it not here? I would not know. So, I have a quest here. I think Basil is in the... Mur okay, so the evil priest Basil seems to be insane. He believes that the undead that that the undead that he controls are the living members of his family. He also believes that I am his parent. I'm his father. It should say father, but whatever. Um, so, what do I want to do with these guys? If they all attack me, they don't seem to be aggressive. Okay, that guy is aggressive, so I'm gonna disable the AI. Okay, he's casting a spell. Let's bring you around that way, because if that's an AoE, I might be screwed already. That is rigid thinking. That's not good. Save versus spell. That's what you get. Okay, just wasted one of his spells. But he's attacking me, but... What the hell? Oh, man. 
ranged the thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go with ranged attacks against him and see what happens. Okay, casting failure. Keep keep attacking. Okay, there we go. Only one of them. What? Okay, let the combat stop. Okay, there we go. Let's do the same thing. Because I got the turn right off the bat. Was that casting failure? Perfect. What he, was he trying to cast? It doesn't say. Okay. Okay, we have... This is... Okay, perfect. He's coming my way. He's a dumbass. That's what he is. He's coming my way. Okay, everybody go into ranged because he's a spellcaster. We need to interrupt him left and right. Oh, he's not a spellcaster. Oh, yeah, he failed again. He's attacking... No, he's not attacking anybody. Okay, he's going for Jahiro. Let's bring Jahiro around. Nope. Get your mace away from her. Okay. He's, who's he attacking? Minsk? Nope, Jahira. Okay, he's attacking, he's attacking Imoen. Let's bring her around here. Oh, he's going crazy. Down he goes. Okay. Did we save the undead? I don't want to save the undead. There's no point in saving the undead. They're undead. I'll kill them all. Hmm. Okay. Let's bring you into... This would be a tough fight if I hadn't the interrupts going. Uh, Minsk is pretty good with uh, arrows as well. So, yeah, let's just see what he has. He has... No. But he has over here. Okay, so he has a bunch of stuff. Just get all, and let's see what he has. He has the Basilus Holy Symbol. A, de a depiction of the evil god Siric. So we need this one for a quest. That's the quest. That the thing that's that's the thing that uh, is gonna complete the quest for us. We have a chain mill that I don't need, and we have a medium shield that I don't need either, and a bloodstone amulet that is gonna be sold. Over here we have a warhammer and gauntlets. I think those are for archery. Let's see the warhammer. I don't need that first. Let's do this one. Oh. Elander's Gloves of Misplacement. Tacos minus 10 and Dexterity minus 2 may not only be removed with a Remove Curse spell. It's a good thing I, um, I didn't equip them. I would never have done that. This is a one-handed Warhammer plus 2 that gives plus 1 electrical uh, damage. It's a fantastic Warhammer, actually. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, there's not really anybody that can use the or that will use it effectively, so I'll just keep it around for right now. Let's kill this Dundead and just be done with it. There's one of them that's aggressive, but uh, it should be fine. Okay, so he's a zombie. As soon as I attack him, I would think assistance. the other guys are going to get aggressive. Nope. I think he didn't actually activate his, his family members, so let's just kill them all, I guess. Okay, are they going to be aggressive? They are going to be aggressive. Okay, so we have skeletons with... Okay, let's bring you guys around over there. And let's bring you guys this time? attacking that guy. Oh, a lot of skeletons. Okay. Ooh, the noise. Okay, that skeleton is gone. Let's get you in there. That skeleton is gone. That zombie is going to die by arrows. Yeah, here, that's Khalid. Okay, that's another kill right there. Yeah, it's the skeletons are doing noise. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, but... Okay, so now you guys switch to melee, and you're going to become a third team to go into melee combat here. Everything is ready. Let's go over there, and you're going to do that. That's another kill. There we go. Doing those rolls. There we go. Attack that one. Oh, that's the slings. They have slings? What do they have? Is it slings? It, it looks like... It looks like crossbows to me, but it could be slings. No, it's crossbows. Yeah. Okay, so down all they go. Getting a little bit of experience. Not really needed. And down they go. Awesome. Okay, so range for you, for you, for you, for you. Get you in there. Let's see what they dropped. Probably a bunch of crossbows. Yes, and a bunch of bolts as well. Nothing that I want. Let's look at the map. So Basilus is dead. We've been hearing about him for forever. Uh, and uh, yeah, because he was apparently the chief captain of, of the guard or something. But he, he, he went crazy and just... People w didn't believe that he um, that he had gone crazy. I think there's a way to convince him to go. I believe there is one, but we couldn't do that. I don't think we had the means to do that. I think there's like, you need to you know, need to talk to somebody or something. I don't remember. Ready to cast a spell or weird. Sometimes there's like special... I'm not sure if they... There is, it's very situational, but I know I know there's a few quests where you can cast certain spells. Maybe it's in Baldur's Gate 2 only. You can cast certain spells that would break the quest if you're thinking about it like from a script side of things and you just break the quest like I don't know you can paralyze somebody or turn them or charm them permanently or something like I don't know if those that I just making stuff up right now but 
There's like a few quests that you can do that I think in Baldur's Gate 2. I don't remember exactly, but that's the nature of uh, that's the nature of role playing. It's you just you're presented with a quest and uh, you just think outside the box and just say okay. So instead of bo going for the objective, I'm gonna do this and. Uh, what about if I do this? And the dungeon master just says, Okay, well, in that case, I will make up a whole new quest line for you. Of course, in video games, you need to be prepared as a game developer for all those possibilities, so that those actually don't work too well in video games. Well, there's not really well known for that. Is that a chicken? That is a chicken. I saw something up there. I saw something making that noise, so I am pretty sure that was a chicken. I don't remember chickens up here. But you shouldn't trust a chicken in, in Baldur's Gate. Never trust a chicken. It's that in, in Legend of Zelda, I think, as well. Even though I've never played Legend of Zelda, I'm pretty sure chickens are terrible. Uh, because everybody says they're terrible. But chickens in this game, they can be demons, they can be anything. There's polymorphs into chickens and stuff like that. Let's see. Was that a chicken? That was a wolf. See, it is a chicken. Melicamp. Man, what a bunch of noise. That's, that was, that's not the noise of a single chicken. Or it might be, but it's recorded very crappily. Yeah, that's the noise of, of a fool. Uh, just everybody. Just a, a lot of chickens there. Thank you, Clock. Uh, you've saved me, Clock. Me. Oh, oh it's just who the hell? I fear I've taken one too many blows to the head. Next, I'll be hearing hamsters speak. Thank you, yes, Clock. That was just what I needed in my hour of need. You laugh it up while I cluck learn to cope with passing eggs. Oh, my apologies, good um mm, chicken. What what has caused your current accursed state? Thank the cluck mother of all magic. Mayhaps now I might end this cluck nightmare. I am Melicamp of Berigost, a crook mage adept in mystical arts. A misread incantation seems to be crook the core, the source of my troubling form. It has been a, over a month since I crook ordered a polymorph spell, and I simply cannot return to my normal crook form. Hmm. I have a passing knowledge of magery. Can can you not dispel this um foul condition? I would, but the spell is... I would, but the spell is beyond my, um... Rather, I exhausted my crook memorized spells earlier, and now I cannot access my spell book. Have you or a member of your party the crook ability to cast such a spell? Hmm, perhaps. But what shall be our reward? It would seem such a spell would be worth much to you at this particular time, especially. Reward? Forgive me, crook! But I seem to have left my purse in my other robe! Oh, free me, and I shall give you what you, what gold I have. Tis a meager amount, but tis cook yours. Okay, then we shall have you restored post haste. Hold still while the casting is done. It didn't cook work. Bother and blast! Your skill is no better than my. Hmm. Rather, I fear that clock you have not the ability to release my enchantment. My only croc recourse now is to find my master. Would you take me to the croc tower near Berigost? Tis there we find Talanthir. He might tell or should be able to deal with this croc. With this? Hmm. Yeah. Then his abode we shall go. Then to his abode we shall go. I will escort you. Thank you! It is located just to the west of Berigost. Talent here lives in the large manor, dear. It's, uh, it'll, I'll just nestle in your pack until we get there. No, I hate chickens! Damn it, why must I carry everything? Ugh. Well, you're gonna nestle in that Samuels, dude. Oh, man. Hey, chickens are terrible. Chickens have ticks. They are... The, actually, the chicken ticks. I'm not sure if the tick is the proper thing. But it's like they have some crawly bugs that jump. And uh, they look like... They look like... Uh, Cheerios. <laughs> they really look like Cheerios, except very, very tiny. Uh, they, I think they have a... They actually are not hollow. There's, it's like, they are not like donuts. No. Uh, Cheerios are like tiny donuts for, for the cereal. Uh, but, for milk. But, uh, uh, yeah, they look like very, very tiny things that ha look like they have a hole in them. Because, I mean, if your skin is is white, they look like they have one. Because they, they're like black with a white dot at the center. They're very tiny. I think they're a little bit larger than normal ticks. Uh, I'm not really sure what they're called, but they, they crawl on you if you 
pick up chickens and stuff like that. Speak but they don't up. actually speak up. They don't actually stick to you, so they just jump off and can be washed away very easily. Not li unlike ticks. So they're not the problem, but the problem is they 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 they, they get you all itchy, so it's terrible. No. Stay back, lest this madness be catching. Well, I've heard that diseases of the mind are even more contagious than those of the flesh. No, let's not do that. Calm down. What is this madness you speak of? I have been a rural merchant all my life, and, my, and thereby no stranger to poetry or any shade of or color. But there be a fiendish hand to the east that, when I picked her up, spoke to me in a voice most human. Either I am in the chill grips of the deepest fever, or that she can be possessed by a spirit from the very depths of the ninth and final hell. Yeah, I have it here if you want it. Choose your friends wisely. <laughs> Not all are as trustworthy as Minsk and Wu. And oh, the chicken. Oh. Thank you. So this place is called Watch for Wolves. That's the name of this place. I'm not really sure why they would put that thing over there. We have been attacked by wolves already, and we don't really need to uh, to watch for them at all because they are easy. Uh, let's kill that ghoul, and yeah, let's continue exploring. This. Okay, that's not just ghouls. That's also okay. So I'm gonna cast my sleep spell over there, over yonder. Uh, AI is enabled, so these guys should be able to do the job there. Let's do that and. Ew, they saved. Damn it, I can cast it again. Just attack, attack, attack. No! Okay. No! Come on. No! Is it gonna work? Okay, it worked on most of them. Let's select everyone and attack that one, and then the AI should do the rest. Oh man. Those spells, those saves, but the saves versus spell. They weren't really that problematic either. But they were elite, so I kind of was a little bit afraid. Not really. What you want? Okay, I want you. Let's attack. Let's do that. I want you to pick up the crap that we just uh, littered on the floor. What is that? Okay, some stuff. Some stuff. Okay, everything is good. He doesn't need more healing. You need to put this inside of your bag, and we're gonna continue. Although there's some stuff over there that I didn't pick up for. God knows what we. Oh, I was gonna leave. Oh, an angel skill ring. I was gonna leave this behind. What the hell am I doing right now? Why was I gonna leave that? Yeah, those are expensive. Those are exp and rare as well. You can buy them, I think. You can buy one in one place. I remember when I was playing the game once, I, I found about the... Qu oh. You surrender or you die. You make choice, and you make choice quickly. Zargol has no patience to wait for slow-witted city folk. Hmm, yep. I guess die is the option. Time to die for you, you ugly knob... Oh, you're very stupid for city folk. You die screaming. Zargal, strongest one there is. Is it? Are you the strongest one? Do you have the strength of a, uh, a heal giant? Do you have 25 strength? Which I believe is the theoretical maximum in Dungeons and Dragons. I believe you don't, good sir. I believe you are actually very good at dodging my attacks. Yeah, you can... Ouch. Eh, it should be okay. He's got plenty of health there. Although this guy's pretty good. They're taking Jahira? No, they're taking damage from Jahira. That's okay. Okay, I can heal him up a little bit. Jahira is not going to be doing that much damage anyway with her uh, little pebbles. Let's do that. Cast that. And attack that guy right there. Come on. Who are these guys? Argo's dead. They should be fleeing. Oh, that, that guy had a name. Malkax. Malkax is actually a pretty good name for an evil guy. And this one is Geltic, which is not as cool. Oh, I don't like that. Without the X. If you don't have an X, you don't have a cool name. It's, I don't have an X in my name. I, 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 I cry myself to sleep every day. Why did my parents give me a name with an X? Actually, that would be really bad if my name just had an X at the end of it or something. Hmm, really, really bad. But anyway, we have a sword, which is good. Not bad. It's good. Uh, it's just a... Oh, it's a... What is that? What is that? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, come on, you don't have the spell. I know that is not a plus one. What? That's a special one. That's either a plus... I don't know what that is, but I guess we'll find out. Let's just uh, get the stuff going over there, because I'm crazy. Just like so. And uh, what else did I pick up? Picked up this and this. This is the gr sh up shocking grasp. Don't need that. Put that one in there. Uh, save the game. And uh, I, I haven't learned sharp shocking grasp, I don't think... I don't think I have space in my level 1 uh, thing, but this thing I must learn what it is. Let's sleep. Not ambushed. That's okay. All healing Whatever spells were cast. And 
It is the Whistling Sword, plus two, amidst the plains of the Eastern Shar, there lived a small human blacksmith whose nearly dwarven height did not do his soul justice. And he crafted this thing, I think, or maybe he wielded it, and it seems like it's just a normal plus two sword, although the speed factor might be good there. Let's see what the speed factor of this one is. Yeah, it's just a normal... I, Again, I don't know if the speed factor is brought up, but uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. She's going to be a little bit better equipped now when she needs to go into melee combat. But for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and uh, this has been Baldur's Gate. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go yes. ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.